let's go ahead and use the power of science to delve further into the debate between the craftsman USA versus Chinese discussion. So I've said before that the, the Chinese craftsman tools feel a bit heavier than their American made counterparts. We already know that the profile is a bit different. The head, uh, whether it's the box end or the open end, is thicker. It's a difference of alloys. When you have a stronger, lighter alloy, you need less material to get the job done. When you have an inferior alloy, you need more to survive when compared to the lighter, stronger one. That's just, it's just the facts. So I'm going to go ahead and do, is at least give us a weight demonstration of what's going on. I've got a little paper towel I'm just going to use on my scale. We'll tear it out. Zero. And why don't we start in my little bag of goodies. We'll start out with Craftsman 10 millimeter combination wrench, 12 point. In the USA, I've had this since the late 80s, early 90s. It's got some grunge on it. It should be fairly clean. There's some stuff I can't get off very easily. So we'll just go ahead and weigh it. So we've got a weight of 51.5 grams for that one. Next I'll do the, as soon as I can find it, a 10 millimeter industrial. There it is, Craftsman Industrial. 10 millimeter made in the USA. 12 point box end. Forty-nine point nine grams, fairly comparable. I'm guessing that <sighs> compared to the one from a long time ago, uh, maybe a, a difference between the the grunge level that I've got on there, or maybe the the forge was just a little bit off. It's never going to be exactly perfect unless you're doing a certified scientific method of of making something which would involve a lot more effort than the standard consumer may want to spend the money on. But anyway, then there's Craftsman 10 millimeter, Chinese. 12 point box end, putting it down. So, it's pretty obvious. We've got about a 13 gram increase in mass versus the two United States China, or craftsman made tools. So Chinese is heavier, the American ones are lighter. So again, if that translates to about a 20% increase in material versus you know the Chinese is 20% heavier than the American made ones. And if you were a factory making tools out of a, an expensive alloy, You'd be shitting your pants right now because you're lo you're losing you know you're adding more material than what would be necessary if you have an inferior alloy to get the same or similar strength characteristics. Not necessarily saying longevity, but maybe in the shorter term, you're going to need to add more material uh, just to survive the abuse for however long you can keep it up. That's not even going into the chemistry and the um, materials composition dynamics of how those materials would perform in the long term. I'm just saying as it stands after a handful of uses. But 20% more material if you if you have a, a superior composition of material, that will matter. And I think that anybody that <laughs> would allow that over an extended period of time would lose their job. So. What does this say? Well, you can take my word for it, as I've said before. Uh, the Craftsman made, or Craftsman Chinese edition, I guess we'll call them the, the most recent iteration of the Craftsman tools, uh, since their discontinuation of being made in the USA since 2012 or thereabout, uh, it, it's an inferior tool. You're paying more money, or I should say similar money, as you would have for the Craftsman USA, tool 
for an inferior product. So I, I guess in theory, yeah, you are paying more money uh, for a worse off product. So don't say, <laughs> I didn't tell you, but this is just one metric to display some of the differences between the old USA made tool versus the Chinese one. So, we'll miss you craftsmen, at least for what you used to be.